lyrically, it's just been great just because uh, I feel like it, it portrays the gospel in such a much deeper manner. You know, you hear Christian bands, they talk about the gospel in a very broad spectrum, but now it's, be, you know, and, and I feel like with what the Lord has laid on our hearts has been a very, it's a very specific thing. I love to read from Charles Spurgeon. It's a 15 volume series of all of his sermons, you know, and he's talking about, you know, Christians being distracted by the things of the world. And he's talking about people going to plays and, and reading novels. And nowadays distractions to us is like, uh, all sorts of technology and all this other, like, you know, there's like, everything's like in your face. You know, if you were to mention to him that, uh, People could look at pornographic images on their computer uh, and look at anything they'd ever want to see. Uh, he'd, you know, that would probably blow his mind. And so the things that, um, but he he talks about being distracted, and you think like, wow, like you couldn't be distracted during like the 1800s by worldly things, because there was like nothing to be distracted by. But nothing's new, nothing's changed, and it's so the things that he writes are so applicable and. Um, it's really helped me ex express things that people have been struggling with for centuries. Taking experiences from the road, taking our, you know, our experiences in our own lives and, and, and even using like conversations that we've had with kids, like talking about those kinds of experiences and just really our entire walk as a, as a group of guys in faith in, in this band. the way that he kind of asks these like rhetorical questions that make you feel uh, really dumb, you know, forever thinking a certain way. It's like, wow, why, why did I ever think that? And so I, I really want to do that with lyrics. I want to ask kind of those questions or force people to ask those questions. Like, why did I ever think this or that? Why did I ever think that uh, like God hates me or that God is a hypocrite or uh, God is wicked or evil, you know? Um, because I want people to read our lyrics and go, like, wow, God truly is a, a good God. God's love is so profound. Uh, it's so magnificent that I can't even wrap my mind around it. And so when people are like, don't you think it's really redundant to always talk about the gospel or God's love? It's like, no, because his love is infinite. Uh, it has no beginning and has no end. And so how can how can I think and like I'd be a fool to think that I could write, you know, 11 songs on our last record and I've covered the love of God. I'm set. There's other things to talk about. Like to me, that's the highest of things to talk about is God's love. Um, and so I wouldn't insult people by giving them something less than what I think is the most valuable. So if people think that we're small because we only talk about the gospel and God's love for people and what Jesus did on the cross, um, like I just have to beg to disagree because that's the biggest thing that I know. It's the biggest thing that affects everything I do and affects everybody. So it's like, why not spend time talking about that? I feel like I'd be insulting people if I talked about something else, something that's like less.